Good afternoon, how are you guys doing today? I just wanted to do a tutorial on different types of foundation techniques, how to apply your foundation with different types of brushes. This video is going to be pretty quick. Um, I just did a demonstration on each section of my face. Enjoy the video. It's going to be a quick video and I'm going to talk over in the video as well. Um, but I'll list the other products on my, for this look that I created. You guys enjoy your day. Have a great one and bless you and your families and love you. Thanks for watching. So the first thing for any foundation routine is you want to have a good primer. This one I'm just doing very quickly. Usually I just use this to wet my brushes and do some other things, but it was here so I just grabbed it real quick. I'm going to take my L'Oreal True Match in shade W3. It's the foundation I'm going to use for this tutorial today and I'm putting it on the back of my hand. Looks like I put way too much. Next I'm going to take my Lancome foundation brush. It's a nice size. I do like the size of this brush and I'm going to pat some product onto the brush. The trick with using a foundation brush is you want to go in the same direction with your brush strokes. You don't want to bring it up, especially if you have any baby hairs on your face as that will make those hairs show more. So you want to brush it in downward strokes. pretty much looks like you're painting your face. Then I'm going to take tapping motions and tap the product in. This will help smooth any of the lines that you have with your brush strokes and give it a more flawless appearance. And there you can see the coverage of that as well. Next I'm going to take this e.l.f. small stipple brush. The stipple brush has a denser top part and at the end of it it has less sparse um, an area. And I'm just going to dab that into the foundation. You want to keep the product, the foundation, towards the tip of the brush and not inside of it because you're just going to use that tip of the brush to dab it onto your face. So the idea of the stipple brush is to give you that airbrush effect because you are making small dots kind of like an airbrush machine would. To me this application technique does take a while so it's not one of my preferred methods which is why I'm still using an e.l.f. stipple brush and haven't splurged for a more expensive brand. So I'm just going to keep tapping that in, pick up some more product as needed, and continue with that tapping motion. Then very lightly to blend in the dots, I'm just taking it and rubbing it around. I'm doing this with a very, very light hand. And you can see the effects of that as well for the coverage. The next technique is with a Sigma Flat Kabuki. It is the F80 brush. I do love this brush and I do love this technique. To me, this seems like the fastest way to apply your foundation. 
And so I dab the brush in the product on my hand and then rub in circular motions to buff this into the skin. This technique also does provide a very flawless coverage in my opinion. And it's great for your rushed morning to get ready. Excuse that really funny face that I'm making. And there you can see the finish of that as well. I really do like this technique. And last but not least, this is the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I do love this. I just took a little bit of rose water and wet it and then dried it off the excess. And I'm going to take the foundation and put it directly onto my skin when I use the Beauty Sponge. And uh, you just dab it. Dab, 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 dab all the way over your face. You don't want to do it in wiping motions because that's just removing the product. So you just dab this. That is the best way to use it. Um, I think this method also provides a very good coverage and finish. And most, some foundations work better with different techniques as well. With my beauty sponge, I do find that the Clinique Acne Solutions works best with the beauty sponge. To me, doing this tutorial, the L'Oreal True Match, I believe the Kabuki did the best job on this. So here you can just see the different results, full face view, all up in my face. Alright, that's it.